Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create an animated bubble chart in Power BI. This is actually fairly easy to do if you're familiar with bubble charts and the animation nature. You probably saw something on TED Talk by Hans Rosling. And basically what you had it was a bubble chart animating through the years with data. Uh, this is crude birth rate data and crude death rate data. And the bubbles are the sizes of the uh, population, uh, population in the thousands by country and year. And so this is kind of a neat visual. It gives you some animation, some user interactivity. It kind of gives a little pizzazz to a dashboard. And I'll show you how to create this. I'm gonna start fresh in a new uh, dashboard view. Pull in the data. You can go to enter data or just pull it from some sources. You can pull it in from a CSV file or Excel file. I have the file here and I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Uh, probably the easiest. It's not too big. Uh, I have a couple rows here, and I think it's about yeah, less than 100 and less than 200 rows. And the way I lay it out, when you think about it, is we have our data is laid out x, y, and z. My x-axis, my y-axis, and my z-axis doesn't necessarily need to be in this linear format, but I see it as a guide to help easily visualize how the data is going to look from spreadsheet to the eventual chart. So we have our year, we have our country. I probably don't need, I can be, use one, one of these or the other one of these later on, but for the labels, but I only need really one, we think about it. So I'm gonna take this data, control A, copy, control C to copy, back into my Power BI desktop, enter the data, click on that icon, and just paste. And once I paste the data, Power BI is smart enough to know that the first row is headers, so that's fine and I can probably just load it in now. Click load and it will load the data in and once I have that loaded in I can start to pull in my fields into the chart. So the chart I'm going to select is this scatter chart. Now the scatter chart will give me the option of having the size. So we have our x-axis, our y-axis, and our size. Pull this out a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And all I need to do is pull in the data. So I mentioned before the way I laid out the table, my birth rate, the first data column field was the x-axis, and then the other one, the second one was the y-axis, and the population was the size. So that's laid out there. And for the year, that we just need to put into the play axis. Once that's there, I probably need a legend for the country. So I'm going to put in the country for my legend here. So I know which one is there. And I think I can just click play and it will play it out. Now you notice that the speed of this is, for some people that might be a little bit slow, for others it is okay, but definitely it's not quick. So it just kind of gives you an idea of how long you have to wait for to kind of go through from your years, if, if, these, if this is only a decade, then that's fine, but this is about three, dec three or four decades, uh, four decades worth of data here. Now, another way to speed it up, since there's no inherent speed up tool in the, this option here, when we have this play option here, is to add in another visualization. And this one is called play. So if I click on here, if I wanna import some custom visualization, I can click on this, import it from the marketplace. And once I import it from the marketplace, the one that I want to find is called play. So I just type P-L-A-Y, press enter. This is the one I need, play access, add that one here. And you'll notice that the icon shows up here now. And I can actually add that in here. Click on here, let's remove, actually let's remove this one first. We'll remove the play access here first. So that's not there anymore. And we'll add this one in here. Uh, deselect that chart, add it here. And the one we want to add is the year. So that's the one that we want to add in. So I'll just click on that. It's going to add it in there. And if I press play, you'll see it move a little bit faster. Um, right now it's not moving faster because by default it's a thousand milliseconds. So let's stop this and go under the format icon under animation settings. And here is where we can adjust some of the play timings. So let's try 500 press enter, click play, and let's see how it works. And you can see that it's pretty fast. And also, 
you would also notice that the axes, the adjust, the, the circles are outside the boundaries because the axes are adjusting for it. You can see that they're adjusting here. And so one way to make it kind of all constrained here in a little bit when we're using this is to adjust the axis to kind of give it a, a constraint. So let's do that. Go on, select the chart here, go under the format, and for my x-axis, let's make this, I think, instead of auto, we'll make it 0 to 100. And for my y-axis, let's make that 0 to 100. So it's good to know your data to understand where I should start with my axis endings. 100, let's try that. All right, and press play. Let's see what we get here. Let's click play again and see what happens. Okay, so now it kind of all shows up. And you can see that it's a little bit faster, but it's a little bit jerky. And that's one of the uh, negatives about using the play access visualization is it's not as smooth as the other one. So it's just an example of, to compare it. Let's see that this is kind of the same speed. If I add the other one, let me click back into the chart. If I added the other one back in and went into the this area and added my play axis back in. Just for comparison, you'll see that it's a little bit more smoother, right? You have 1973-74, kind of it kind of smooths. There's no herky-jerky motion, and we can try to simulate that if we did it this way with the play tool. Let's click it again, and maybe it doesn't need to be that quick. If we change it to make it maybe a little bit slower. 600, press enter, maybe it won't be as... So let's play this again. And you can see that it's a little bit better, but you have to recognize the, some of the trade-offs between using the play feature already inherent in the scatter chart versus downloading this play uh, visualization feature that gives you a little bit more option to speed it up, uh, or slow it down. Also, you have the option to have it auto start and to loop. You just need to think of those in terms of the trade-offs for your data visualization for this particular chart. But those are the ways that you can use this to create your animated bubble chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.